friends, it's me, your pal Kelly Zanikas, and welcome to episode number 75 of It'll Be Fine. Of course I will. I got I got my oat beverage. I like oat beverage, you know, I do. And it goes very well with what we are making today, because today, guys, we are making marble cake with a chocolate ganache frosting. Ooh la la. I am super excited to give this one a test drive. So excited. I mean, it's cake. Well, how can you go wrong with cake, you know? You can't. You just, you can. I'm just trying to think of something, but you can't. Um, and I am baking today alongside my friend, the wonderfully talented and very funny Bria Badu. Bria is someone I've gotten to know through the Zoom comedy scene, like many folks who have been on the show this season, and uh, I am so glad we met. Uh, I can't wait to actually meet her in person. That's going to be a fucking awesome day. Um, Bria, by the way, is my co-producer and co-host of a fantastic Zoom-based comedy show called 86th. We have a new installment of the show coming at you on October 28th. I'm going to put the link to the Eventbrite uh, in the show description, so click on that. Come see the show. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, a friend and fellow comic and someone who is on this show already, George Rivard, is one of the comics featured on the show, Toronto Comic. It's going to be a good time, 86th, October 28th. Uh, but in the meantime, you get for this episode to bake alongside Bria and I, as I say, we're doing a marble cake. And today we are raising some awareness, offering some love to the good people at the Terry Fox Foundation. Their info is also in the show description. So buckle up, guys. We got the oat beverage. We have cake. We have two amazing ladies baking. This is going to be fine. Nothing will go wrong. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, so this is what you're what you're going to need for just the marble cake. Um, there's a few other things needed for the frosting and the ganache. But to start, Bria and I are going to be needing some cake flour. That is right there. That is a product. It is a thing. See it right there. There we go. Um, we need salt. We need sugar. We need baking powder and baking soda. Got some cocoa powder. This is my version of buttermilk. It is milk with white vinegar. You can definitely do that. Also try it with lemon juice or cream of tartar. I need some butter for this. Need some vanilla extract, some almond extract. I'm using coconut oil in place of vegetable oil. And in place of eggs, I'm using these guys, bananas. You can totally do that. Just make sure they're they're good and brown like this. Look, it looks like that guy's frowning. Don't frown, buddy. We're making cake. Later, that should be better. I'm so white. It, <laughs> I'm glaring enough for the both of us. <laughs> it's funny. Like I dyed I dyed my hair purple recently, and it's made my face like so, I'm like, oh shit, I'm whiter. <laughs> you should just get one of those like. Sponsor things, you know. I mean, I could. I, although today I was like, I don't, I don't want to make, I don't want to, I don't want to put on makeup today. <laughs> like I'm gonna dress down, and I'm into like a fancy jumper. So, whatever. <laughs> this is this is me dressed down, earrings, fancy jumper. Um. Well, anywho, all right. So the first thing we need to do, um, because we are batching down, this recipe calls for three layers. I do not need a three layer cake in, no. in my kitchen. <laughs> so I'm just doing one, one layer. Um, and the first step is to move up your pan. Uh, it doesn't say um, what it does say though, is use cake goop, which I have never heard of in my life. What is that? I have no idea. I use coconut oil. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab some coconut oil. I mean, you can also use butter or that pan spray if that's something you own. 
Um, but I do not know what cake goop is. I, I just happen to have an open coconut oil. So amazing, nice. Um, yeah, I would I would do that. And the uh, the oven needs to be set at a temperature that for all the baking I have done, I have never seen three hundred and thirty five. Thirty. <laughs> yeah, what? I don't know. I've got a lot of questions. This, by the way, uh, this is the recipe we're doing for my friends at home. <laughs> this here. Uh, it's from uh, the Sugar Geek. And I have some questions for Sugar Geek. We'll get you. We're starting. <laughs> some questions. But yeah, 335 once you have lubed up. Uh, your pen. So, a low temperature for a cake, like it's it's gonna take forever. It's it's low. The baking time is only thirty five minutes, give or take, which isn't that long. Um, but we're going with what she says. So if this doesn't work out, we know who to talk to. Yeah, the sugar geek. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I don't know what that mean also. Like, what are you just like, oh, you're such a geek for sugar. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, actually, um, uh, a dear friend of mine, Sarah, uh, she goes by the domestic geek. Um, she's got quite a, quite a name for herself now. She's been on live with Kelly and Ryan. Well, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's done really well. Sarah Lynn Cochon uh, is the domestic geek. Um, but this is the sugar geek. Who I'm sure is equally as nice. I and wonder Sarah. if I would tell you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's got a cookbook. I'll plug that. Um, that's so cool. It's nice when friends, you know, get famous like that. It's cool to see, you know, when really? you know that they're good people. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's well deserved. I'm always that person who's like, I remember that guy in high school. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a few of those stories. Um, my dad also is one of those name dropper types. I feel like I got that from my dad. My favorite name dropping story of my father's was the time I was watching an old, old rerun of Star Trek, like original Star Trek. And my dad walks in the room, he's like, oh, I went to high school with that guy. I was like, which guy? He's like, that guy, Captain Kirk? My dad went to high school with William Shatner. Yeah. I was like, wait, your dad didn't go to the what? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. William Shatner is a Montrealer. He's a Canadian. And That's I, enough. Yes. Oh. I know. I, I continue to be on the hunt for some high school photos. My dad says they exist, but I haven't found them. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you an eggnog drinker? Um... Weirdly enough, yes, but oh. I have to mood. It has to be really, really cold for me to want to drink egg eggnog. And then it also has to have alcohol. Yeah, I, I'll maybe put some in a coffee, like for a seasonal coffee. But I I can't drink that stuff in a glass. I I'm not I've never liked it. <laughs> really? No, I'm not on that train. I'm not on the pumpkin spice latte train. Wow. No. You ever had no. a latte? No. <laughs> I just like black coffee, man. <laughs> Don't put anything in it. <laughs> I would love my job. I'm a barista, and so I'm always making all these drinks, and people are like, can I get creamy whole milk with, like, six stevia and, like, a little bit of honey um, and like in a large cup, it's a medium. And I was just like, please, God, no. <laughs> as much, as much as I love my mother, that is my mother. She is that person at a coffee shop. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> she is a very complicated hot chocolate order. I need, I need like, I need notes when I go to the Starbucks order. <laughs> That's the worst. Are your parents like that? No, like my mom is pretty simple. She's picky, but simple. So she likes what she likes. She'll get a mocha 
if it strikes her. Um, I'm the, a little more complicated, but not really. Yeah. I've gotten a little more simpler with my coffee order as I've gotten older because I'm just, I'm just tired. I just need caffeine. I used to have like, I need sugar. I would do like half honey, half sugar, and this medium roast coffee with oat milk. And now I'm just like cold brew. Maybe, maybe I'll put oat milk. I don't even put ice half the time. <laughs> we're probably gonna get to the point where we're like, just don't give us a cup. Just can I have a straw for like? We're just gonna start putting troughs out there for people. The quick trough, like swipe your card for a dollar and get a straw and just like suck up all the caffeine you need and run. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all right, so my hot water is boiled. I'm adding that to the cocoa powder and we're just going to pour it over and give a quick stir. All right, so um, how much cocoa powder are we using? I, let's see, what did I do here? I did, two, uh, I did a tablespoon of cocoa powder. I didn't do much at all. Um, the recipe calls for two tablespoons, but again, because we're batching down, I just cut it in half. So. My cocoa powder doesn't want to open. There we go. Instead. Oh, no. Bam. <laughs> I think I hear my water coming to a boil. So I'm gonna go yeah. get that. Yeah, I'm just gonna show folks what I'm doing here. So you're just mixing this until it's not lumpy. <coughs> you know what I've come up, so this is what brings up when I look that up. What's half of three quarters of a cup? It's simple. Where is it? Okay. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Okay, half of three quarters of a cup is six tablespoons. That that's it's that simple, huh? That simple. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So we are going to get another bowl. Me. Okay, and this is just the batter. So this is. <laughs> the ganache is a lot simpler. There's not as many steps. Thank God. So. <laughs> All right. So we need um, six tablespoons of the milk, and then we'll take the oil, we'll mix, and we'll set that aside. Are we doing equal parts milk and oil? Um, it, well, that, uh, Okay, maybe it says combine three quarters of a cup of the milk and the oil. So are you doing all of the oil or just three quarters of the cup of the milk? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, am I just doing half of the milk and all of the oil? That's a good question. Oh man, we should have did the math on this. Um, you know what? I will do half of my oil. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that executive decision. I'm just while you make that executive decision, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up because I made my first mess of the day. <laughs> gonna just remake this cocoa stuff. Okay. Great. Right. So for the oil, just by the way, it's a half a cup of oil in the recipe. So I only did a third of a cup and I okay. did half of a third of a cup um, because I don't know what the sugar geek wants to do here. I'm a sugar geek, a lot, of, a lot of questions. All right. <laughs> so this of course is not as easy to mix together as if this was vegetable oil, but I'm just doing my best here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's that's over there. All right, so you need to do the cocoa again. Um, yeah, I just I like made a little bit more and set it to the side. Hopefully, that'll be it. It, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> That was my alternate title for the show. <laughs> then go ahead. 
fix this stuff and then we'll see what happens. Something's gonna something's gonna come out of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm just thinking now of show titles. I feel like, oh well, could be another good baking show title. <laughs> this is like nailed it. <laughs> it is I nailed it. I take a lot of inspiration from nailed it. Um, okay. So our next thing when you're ready to go on to step number four. Ah, uh, it's only the fourth step. Only the fourth step. Yeah, we have we have ten more. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, not well. We there's thirteen. There's thirteen steps in the cake batter over it. Cool. So I've got my cocoa and my uh, water mixed back together. I've got some and some milk mixed in together. I'm ready to go. All right. So the next thing we are going to do um, is take the remainder of our milk, eggs, vanilla, and almond extract, and whisk it together. Now. This is what I am doing because I opted to not use eggs because I have bananas that are on their way out the door and these are perfect alternatives for eggs. So I'm trying to make as much use as I can out of my food. <laughs> so, uh, it calls for four eggs. If you're batching down, just use two. Um, I'm gonna use four bananas. So. All right. This geek can yell at me all she wants, but I do this for pancakes. It's awesome. Honestly, I tried it once and I maybe should like tweak it next time for my own taste because I was not the biggest fan of the banana based pancake. That is fair. That is fair. But I like things like banana bread and stuff, you know? Yeah. No, totally. It um, you you will taste the banana in this, you know. You there will be some banana, but I'm making it healthy, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna do two eggs. Two eggs. Um, the remainder of that milk, and then um, a teaspoon of vanilla, and about. A fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. This says whisk this up to break up the eggs. So you don't want to overmix it. Just give it, you know, give it a good, a good stir to get it all together. And then, like everything else in this recipe, set it aside. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, oh, you need another bowl. Oh, fuck this. Oh, geez. I put this into a bowl because I need this for my, my kitchen aid. Um, I'm not going to show the viewers at home what this looks like because it's gross. <laughs> um, see, probably a lot thicker than mine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, all right. So we're to, to the bowl, another bowl. Um, all right, now we are going to take our flour, our sugar, our baking powder, our baking soda, and our salt, and we're gonna mix it. Dry bowl. I don't care at this point. No, I yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna need another bowl. I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm, and I know baking fundamentals, you're supposed to mix your dry before you mix it into the wet, but like, Fuck it, like whatever, we're here. Like, I'm That's sorry. No, <laughs> we can do, Barbie said girls can do anything they want. So that's what we're doing. Okay. This is just gonna be, this is gonna be for a very short mix because right after we're gonna be adding our butter to this. So we're gonna be mixing it more. So basically just, you know, just count to 10, add the butter, then we'll mix for a bit longer. Um, Family. All right. Going. Basically, you just want everything to get together and meet each other like at a cocktail party. <laughs> yeah. Mixing. Woohoo. To me, this looks very like marshmallow like. Yeah. Which is cool. Um, so. Yeah, so my dough is looking like that. 
Oh. Very nice and light and airy. Um, yeah. I mean, mind you, I did, I did use bananas in place of eggs, but you still want to have that like marshmallow fluffy kind of lightness to it. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the disaster that I'm working with. <laughs> oh man it's gonna be okay All right. oh no great somebody's gonna eat this cake <laughs> it sounds like a challenge all right <laughs> oh my god could you imagine if like fear factor was a baking show <sighs> so many dead people oh my gosh there was a show when I was when I was growing up. I mean, there's they've made a they've like done a new version of it. But when I was growing up, there was this TV show called Just Like Mom, and it was a, a show you would go on with your mom, and there was prizes to win. And every episode ended with a bake off, and every kid in the finale added ketchup. Because you were given basically whatever you wanted to put into a dessert. Every fucking kid put ketchup in something. And then the mothers had to eat this stuff. What? <laughs> we should try to find a link for the, of this and send it to you. And, um, like, if you won, there was either uh, there was a, a grocery store gift card or, like, a trip to Disney World. Like, those were the two What? <laughs> Those, are, those don't add up. Those are not equal at all. <laughs> all righty. Um, okay, so that's what this is looking like. So we've added in everything but that cocoa powder from the start. We haven't done that yet. I'm just making sure. Yeah, okay. So now, oh, Lordy. Okay, do we need another <laughs> sucking bowl? Oh, man. Okay, take out one third of your batter and add it to the chocolate mixer and fold it together. Hmm. Okay, so the cocoa stuff that we mixed earlier? Yes. Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, so it says take out one third of your batter, combine it with the chocolate mixture, and fold gently <laughs> until combined. Okay. And then it says, layer your batter, starting with the vanilla, then the chocolate, then the vanilla, then the chocolate. So make sure, basically, we want to make sure we have two batter bowls. One like this, which has no chocolate, and then one that does have chocolate. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right, let's give it nice. a You take the blocks from the bottom, then you put it on the top. Is that Jenga? Yes. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So we're just going to layer them, huh? We are layering. And again, we're just doing one layer of this cake. This recipe is actually for a three tiered cake. We are doing a tier. <laughs> <laughs> we may not layer more than vanilla on the bottom, chocolate on the top. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I hope to God this doesn't kill anyone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were like, white cake. And I was like, come on. We can do something better than that. It's like, no. But I will say in my defense, I've not ever made a white cake from scratch. I don't think I've made any cake from scratch. I'm a cake mix person. Yeah. yeah. I'm so I think whoever wants to do a vanilla cake with me, let me know. Um, so far though, like it's not looking terrible. It's like it's oh, that's good. Nice. Yeah. All right. Down the bottom. Just gonna layer this until I run out of batter. This almost looks like mousse. It's like got the consistency of like chocolate mousse. Yeah. Mine's a lot more watery mousse. <laughs> eh? All right. Okay. It looks like, okay, well, yeah. 
Oh, yours looks good. Mine is much more chocolatey. I added more batter to the chocolate. Same. I did the same thing. Um, mine, my chocolate batter, say, because I probably should have put I less. light marble. It's a like making pie over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. But I, I'm, I'm definitely excited to, to get this in the oven. All right. So now I'm just going to do another. Let me go ahead and rim off of this. Mixy mix. Okay. I'm eating this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can honestly say, like, whoo, I can exhale for a second. Hopefully it comes out good because, like, I was worried. <laughs> so what we are going to do now is uh, stick this into our oven at 335 Fahrenheit. You heard that right. Uh, for <laughs> about 35 to 40 minutes, every single oven in this world is different, just like you and me. <laughs> um, so don't stray too far from your kitchen because this might be done in half an hour. You never know, but 35 at least. So. Is there, I guess I'll use a flat, I'll use a cake spatula because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fold. Uh, this, uh, is when, when this does get added, um, we are pouring the cream over the chocolate, letting it sit for five minutes. Then we will add the vanilla, add the salt, and whisk. Ah, uh, whisk. To use a fork. We are going to whisk this. Whisk. Until it is smooth and creamy. Um, I don't know if mine's... Nah. I hope not. I don't know if I call this smooth and creamy. Maybe it just has to get there. Yeah. All right. This is good TV. They make it look so easy on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> they do. And given that this will be on the YouTube, I guess that's the only thing I'm going my, my butthole cake. <laughs> I do. I do love that. Who did <laughs> not want a butthole cake? It's just like, okay, so when I put it in and I did the swirl, it came, like, it was looking like it was coming together nicely. And then it started to bake and run. <laughs> and just really looks like a gaping butthole. And I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I feel like if I was ever in roller derby, or ro roller derby if I was ever one of those players that would be a great nickname butthole cake <laughs> the gate this is smooth okay just yeah, take time. Like take time. yeah I'm a velvety over here nice good actually I think we got like oops I don't see your face Sorry, my dad was just called me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So you know what? This is what mine's looking like. Yours might take lots of time just because you have uh, your batter's a lot less liquidy because you had banana instead of. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little knife in it, do a little test. Yeah. Um, it's clean. I'm good. Nice. Mine then I'm baked. I'm Wait the full 35 for mine, just to be safe. I would say mine baked for about 28 minutes, which just goes to show every every oven's different, so. Um, Plus my butthole's uh, starting to rise, so. <laughs> Maybe you should see your doctor. It's just crazy that, like, I mix them, and now it just looks like a bunch of, like, white cake surrounding... <laughs> Guys, this this is what happens when you make marble cake with chocolate ganache. Look, look at this kitchen. There, and this is mine. Look at the party. Yours is beautiful. <laughs> so these are our cakes. So I'll let them rest in the fridge for like I don't know, fifteen minutes, and uh, yeah. we're gonna try them. Yay! Thirty. Uh, what year? I think 
1932, the year this book is from. So it's got in here because I love old timey advice. Old timey advice is my favorite kind of advice. And so this is advice on, um, on income. As a new bride, how to budget your income. This is the best. <laughs> so, uh, it says to have a safety deposit box because it is always advisable. It is not, sorry, it is not always advisable to keep too much jewelry in the home. Isn't that true, Bria? I mean, geez Louise, <laughs> I guess. I try usually to keep all of my gold in my platinum in separate locations. <laughs> That's just, you know, whatever woman does. Exactly, exactly. Um, it says here, um, if you spend your summers in the country or at the lake shore, um, you will find a safety deposit box useful uh, if you do not wish to leave them in your city home. I have such a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> Before I leave in the city home. I know. So relatable, this book. Peace. Okay, so. My chocolate probably could set a bit more, but that's okay. Same, but I'm gonna try this. Yeah. Get a plate. Ooh. Cool. Now, you can't see it because of the ganache, but I can see a nice little marbling happening there, so. Yeah, so that's what uh, mine is looking like. Ooh, gorgeous, lovely. All right, so once again, this is the marble cake recipe from Sugar Geek. Um, we opted to not buy new makeup brushes for this recipe. Yeah, I definitely did not follow this recipe to the teeth. So if it does not come out perfect, then that is not on Sugar Geek, that is on me. All right, shall we try? Let's do it, cheers. Bon appetit. Hey, cheers, all right. Mm. That is good. It's very moist. Super moist. I hate the word moist, but that is a good description of this cake. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, this is really good. And um, I've got that added little banana kick because I use those in place of eggs. Um, this is delicious. This is nice. Mm, mm. Good, good pick on the cake. It's not too sweet. Not at all. No, no. It's a nice. This is an. I would. I would be proud to offer this to someone. This is good. Maybe Mrs. Morrow from my bride's book in 1935. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is nice. This is really, really good. We actually pulled it off. We did, look at us. Amazing. Holy moly.